Quality in Interpreting by Silvia Kalina Quality of what and for whom? When people communicate in a multilingual setting, they are often assisted by interpreters and rely on the quality of their service if they do not speak or understand the foreign language. The quality of interpreters' service depends on whether the setting is balanced and unidirectional, as it is in conferences and similar events mostly interpreted in the simultaneous mode or asymmetrical and bidirectional as it is in community settings such as social and healthcare interpreting, where consecutive and whispering is used. In the first case, the focus is on quality of what an interpreter produces and that is the output in terms of content, language and delivery. While the second case, interactional competences and discourse management are crucial. However, Quality also refers to interpreter reliability, compliance with principles of professional ethics, empathy and trustworthiness. Quality expectations of users may differ depending on setting. For example, in legal settings, interpreting is expected to be verbatim or word for word, while in a community setting, the interpreter acts as a mediator and assumes a more active role. In all interpreting, Distinguishing good quality from poor interpretation requires assessment or evaluation. Think about this. While speakers wishing to convey a message in a certain manner and form are unable to judge whether the interpreted version conveys exactly what they would like to express, users who depend on the interpreted version of an original discourse are also unable to judge whether it is exactly what the original speaker said. Because of that, Trainers who teach or test students or potential employers want to be sure that the work of the interpreter complies with a certain quality standard. If quality means different things to different people, it is impossible to define an universal criteria. The criteria not only vary between different interpreting modes and settings, but also between and within different types and groups of users. Moreover, and in the words of Franz Pococker, there's evidence that preferred interpreting styles may differ from one sociocultural context to another. Interpreting quality as a paradigm of interpreting. Conference and business interpreting. Conference interpreting will include all types of conferences, such as high-level dialogue and business meetings, training seminars, debate and media shows, as well as video conference and remote conference interpreting. For these settings, Quality studies have focused on differences between source and target text in terms of coherence, accuracy and fidelity, completeness and acceptability. However, large-scale surveys failed to produce a conclusive, uniform picture of the preferences and expectations of users. Relative agreement was found only on such parameters as sense consistency, logical cohesion and correct terminology. Conference interpreters themselves seem to be unanimous that delivery is an important aspect of quality, especially when it comes to the acceptability of simultaneous interpreting where elegant delivery is often difficult because of processing constraints. Nonetheless, the discussion about methodologies for carrying out user service continues. Legal interpreting in intra-societal settings where intercultural communication is of great importance, quality is regarded much more as a function of cultural sensitivity than of linguistic or prosodic parameters. Here, different criteria are applied too. In interpreting for courts and the police, the crucial requirements are completeness and accuracy and absolute neutrality. The quality perceptions are different in the United States and Europe. And in countries like Austria, quality means that style and register are maintained without an obligation to be literal. Healthcare interpreting. Public service interpreting or community interpreting comprises a number of different settings, especially in medical and healthcare interpreting, including telephone and video interpreting. Standards for training, testing, and certification are being developed. And as it has been pointed out, it is extremely difficult for those who study community settings to distinguish between good and poor quality, as the character of the data is highly sensitive and too little monitoring and testing is performed. 
working conditions such as speakerphone, teleconferencing, and extending working hours without breaks affect quality as well. Sign language interpreting. Sign language interpreting is provided for conferences as well as legal and community settings. Usually, it is practiced for TV news, talk shows, and other types of media coverage. The quality of these services varies since its assessments by deaf people is difficult as user service are problematic. Visibility and adaptability are important quality factors, as it is clarity of signs and the knowledge of deaf culture. However, Testing of sign language interpreting quality is still under-researched and assessment has to include personality factors such as perceptual, motor coordination and assertiveness. Constraints on interpreting quality Researchers attempt to distinguish between those features affecting the quality which are under the control of the interpreter and external factors such as the time constraints, paralinguistic features of source context, situation, working conditions, and so on. Conference interpreters agree that the quality they provide is generally best when they work into their mother tongue and interpret directly from a source to a target language without having to make use of relay interpretation. Another factor that has a considerable bearing on quality is technical equipment. The growing use of cheaper equipments for simultaneous interpreting is bound to affect quality. Quality Assurance for assuring the quality of interpreters' services in the different settings, an established accreditation system and professional associations are necessary. For conference interpreting, these exist on a worldwide level and are comparatively uniform, whereas for community or public service interpreting, some countries have well-developed systems, but others are still lagging behind. The picture is similar when it comes to training where a formal university degree is required for conference interpreters everywhere, but public service interpreting is, in many countries, offered as an undergraduate level. A number of researchers have developed systems for quality assurance. Nevertheless, quality control is essential and a prerequisite for higher professionalization, which, with the current trend of cutting costs by all means, may counteract these efforts.